Welcome back, Tech Community, to another uh, championship interview. We have with us the Tech Stallions of the Rainbow Six side of things. You've already seen the Tech Stallions interview for Call of Duty. And that's just how good we are here in the Tech Community. We just go into these tournaments and we just take the dub. Doesn't matter what sport it is. Doesn't matter who's playing. Doesn't matter what console. I mean, they just take the dub. So we got a, we got a bunch of people on the party for this one. Um, so everyone say hello to, uh, we got Blue Flame. We got Tags, Titan, Capro, Luco, oh. Nova, Biddy. We're all going to get, uh, they're all going to get a chance to uh, talk to you guys about their experience with the HSEL Esports Summer Challenge Tournament. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and ask you guys where you guys are from and how you guys heard and found out about tech and got involved. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with uh, Tags Titan and just go down the list. Uh, it, yeah, so finding out about uh, the tech and all of that really came from our general manager, Rafino. He kind of came to us after our first win in the HSCL season. He's like, he basically introduced us to the whole tech league, talking about uh, how it'd be great competition for us, great experience for us, and how uh, much of a growth it would be for all of us as players, and really kind of slid us into it on the roster. Nice. And tell us where you're from, real quick. Like, oh, uh, well, all of us are kind of dispersed. I'm from New York currently, and I plan to stay here for as long as possible. Okay. Uh, we'll go to Blue Flame next. All right. So how I found about all these leagues, this was from all from Tags. Because I met, like, I joined this team because Tags invited me one day when we were playing rank. He's like, we played a lot. I think we can make a solid team. Would you like to join? I was like, yeah. Um, I'm from previously from New York, currently in New Jersey. And I also plan on staying here for a long time. All right, uh, Nova. Yeah, uh, Blue kind of forced me into it, so uh, <laughs> here now. Um, but yeah, also also played ranked with Blue, and then he was like, "Yo, come join this team," and I was like, "No." He was like, "I'm, I, I'm, you gotta do it." So I kind of just did. I have not a bad decision, you know. It was it's fun, uh, but um, and I guess it's a good experience just to like. You know, get to experience that teamwork that you, that you don't always see um, in like a lot of places, um, and it does kind of feel like like you do have like a little bit of a mini community to like go to, so it's nice. How about you, Betty? Um, I found out about this stuff from Tags because I used to play a lot of rank with him and still do, but he eventually got me into the team, so now I'm here playing with them. Yeah. Um, I'm from Massachusetts. Nice. Luca? Pretty much the same. Uh, I played rank with Tags, and then he messaged me, and he was like, you want to join the team? I was like, sure. <laughs> nice. And where are you from? I'm from Ontario. Wow. All over the place. <laughs> <laughs> what a wide range. That is crazy. How you guys uh, all I'm just... Canada. Yeah, that's yeah, really cool. You guys all kind of, you guys kind of met online, and now you're on a team from Virginia. Most of you aren't even in Virginia, but um, that's pretty yeah, cool. One of our players, I believe, is in Toronto, and the other one is where's Jay located? Yo, gaming without No, Carolina, no. <laughs> gaming without wow, Carolina. I don't know where Jay, our other players okay, but he's somewhere in the western. Yep. Yeah, there were a couple a uh, couple of teammates that weren't able to make it tonight, so we'll give some shout outs to them, they barely some make love it to the, to games, them at the end. <laughs> but uh all right so uh this question is for blue flame uh who would you say is the shot caller of your team that honestly you'd think the obvious answer is tags but it's actually nova um he's the one like he he's uh i guess you say the support player of the team and then things go sideways tags is usually the one who's making the strats you know we have a whole channel in discord for that and reviewing his custom games but sometimes you know not not everything goes perfectly and we have to adapt for that so nova's out here um giving us the strats and what we should do moving forward because every team plays differently and you can't always expect every team to play the same so strats always change especially for the finals game because we played these guys the, the last season and they played completely different 
so nothing we did from the last season transferred over. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> did anyone get an uh, ace at all? I mean, I missed Blue, it. Blue got many um, laces. I, I I get an ace maybe every every game. Every three rounds. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I'm no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Like every game, I'd get maybe one or two. Ages. Just monkeys with yeah, monsters. dispatched across the yeah. season. <laughs> dispatched across the season. I think everybody had their own like ace, ace moment. 4K like kind of grand areas either in the finals or just along the season. Hmm. Pretty cool. Nice. Um. So obviously this game is Rainbow Six Siege, but uh, Luco, moving over to you. Is there another Rainbow Six that you like better, or like what's your favorite Rainbow Six? You you prefer that over COD? Um, actually, I am a creature of habit. I play like very few games. <laughs> I think my Fair most enough. played games are probably Siege. I think I have like two thousand five hundred hours on, and then wow. I have like a thousand on Dead by Daylight. But I mean, Gaming. that's just like a fun game. That's awesome. Um, back to the tournament, Nova, who would you say was the most difficult competition? Was it the team you went up against in the finals or was there maybe a team earlier in the tournament that gave you problems? Uh, How'd that go for you? I think that's a hard question because I don't think like, I mean, we, 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 we like nine times out of 10, seven, oh, so it was, um, <laughs> uh, it was it, definitely hard to find like it's not a matter of skill i would say um you know these things aren't aren't as much like oh you know we're so much better we demolished it's more of um we have really good like co like co like uh cooperation and teamwork um our we will fight but our um strats and and uh the way we play and the way we're able to adapt is usually really um a lot a lot better than the other teams um I think it, it could be because we play a lot of ranked. It could be because we uh, we are a good fit for each other. But as for competition, I don't know. I guess the Indiana Warhawks definitely put up like they were they were good players. They definitely put up their fair sh like don't make that Facebook. They they they, <laughs> they had their moments. You know, like um, they definitely. I will give them that 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 they they adapted from when we last played them. They learned, and that is something that's hard to do. And I think that that you know I got to give them credit for that. Uh, may I continue the question off of Nova Zen? Absolutely. Um, since we're on the topic of HSCL and not tech competition, Nova. Oh wait, wait. Uh, wait definitely wait. our. <laughs> uh, definitely, it's even since last season of HSCL, it was wait. definitely our semifinals matches that were up there as the most uh, challenging. Um, currently this season, the team Peanut Butter Powerhouse. Oh yeah, those guys. <laughs> interesting school name, uh, but that was their wait, name. Were they cheating? Um, they they were actually. They were actually our hardest competition, not only because how uh, high skill level they were in the game, but they were also um, you, uh, known as using cheats in the game. So wow. wait, was any it was it made set? things a lot harder for us when we had no convincing overall evidence. But so every what could, other what HCL kind of cheating like? Aimbotting or uh, they like had, uh, they were convicted of walls. Yeah, 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 yeah walls and clauses those. because we shot all the cans because we were running Twitch and ops like that, and they're just pre-firing us like crazy. I don't. Like, and it's not, after us. after they forfeited, one of the guys admitted to it in chat. So I mean, like, what? Wait, what, do you get more evidence than that? I think. So, so yeah, the, and it, then after geez. the next day, I played against one of their teammates in rank. And he went full blame on me just to <laughs> make me lose Elo. Spider. He was like, "This yeah. is what you get for making us forfeit." So did this team cheat in the tournament? You say, you think? So yes, they it's um. I mean, it's hard to say for sure. Other teams along, other teams that we played against or we're friends with on Discord that play in the HSL league, they mm -hmm. can, they we all talk about the team and everyone agrees that there's something unnormal about yeah. the peanut butter powers team. How the their play style is odd, all the pre firing, just how they kind of know what to do the when there's no no much of intel and it's really just kind of showing showing a uh, awful lot that they were on the cheating side especially because they actually lost they had a forfeit their match for breaking the rules and cheating yeah of so. course yeah and it's an it's an unfortunate side effect of online gaming it's just one of those things you're going to run into with a lot of games you know warzone over i play overwatch happens in overwatch you know the wall hacking or being able to see people through the walls it's just 
unlucky. Um, I can't wait till we get some more lands going in tech, and so that you know people are on land. The the host is you know oh, yeah. perfect, and the the there's no worry about internet connection and or hacks, uh, especially just for reasons like that. But um, but yeah, definitely. Uh, moving on to uh, Biddy, this question's for you. What would you say your practice regimen is like on a weekly basis? Do you guys practice a lot in going into ranks? Do you guys look or you know scrims to find or um how's that what's that look like for you um we do an occasional scrim sometimes just for like practicing stretch and playing other games but for the most part a lot of us just play rank consistently through the week you know it builds um i'd say it builds like a knowledge of each other and a good you know play style with each other yeah if i want yeah if i could add to that um yeah go ahead we all like do, you know, as Betty said, we all play ranked here and there, um, uh, doing or trioing together. And, um, but we do have, you know, if sections, we have, we have a player like uh, J Sport who, um, does not play the game. Um, and he's only ever there for, for matches. He shows, he shows up always 30 minutes late. He always top frags. And then we never hear from him again till next match. Yeah. Um, he's just, he's always it gone, does not but... make sense. Yeah. That's insane. One of those best I, players. I've had an exper- uh, a similar experience in Overwatch where one of our he was a Widowmaker player and he never showed up to practice or anything. He'd show up to games and just pop off and then leave. Maybe that's the way so, to do and it. And he wouldn't give any call outs either. We're doing it wrong. It, well, I, yeah. in, all the, in all defenses, J Sport does live in a different time zone yeah, than us, so true. he's he's two hours behind us. So he obviously has probably stuff going on while we're kind of ahead in the future. Yeah. <laughs> in the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. All right. Well, um, now I'm going to ask this question to all of you and we'll start with tags, but uh, I want to go around the room in the virtual room and I want to know what your favorite character is in R6 and what do you like about their kit? Um, what do you, what do you like about that role? Uh, so we'll, we'll go with tags. Uh, personally, I've kind of grown on a uh, nomad. Uh, I have a, uh, I tend to solo queue a lot, so I always don't trust the random players with holding flanks or any of that. And when I play Nomad, I love setting up tactical flank uh, watch, and her weapons are surprisingly strong. And she has good util with the soft breach device and the uh, flashbangs and a 2x scope, all the things I love. So it's just really, it's kind of fun playing her. Hmm. Cool. How about um, moving over to the next Blue Flame? Uh, my off is Mozzie, because uh, Mozzie has two parts for me, because Mozzie's the op that I have the most aces on, because his gun is just that good. <laughs> but at the same time, nobody can tell me not to play him, because he has three pests that stop intel from coming in. And on top of that, he also has a nitro. He has a, he has a nitro cell for plant denials, rotates if needed, like contrary Bart play. So o- overall, he's a very versatile op. But you know, I use it for the gun. <laughs> nice. You seem to use Oryx oh, more. Yeah. <laughs> and Oryx, yeah, yeah. And Oryx for the prox ones too. Just for the prox ones. Nice. Yeah, just for the <laughs> prox ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about how about you, Nova? Um for an attacker, definitely Ace. Um he's definitely the guy his utility is unmatched on on attacker. Um he's just the best of both worlds when it comes to hard breaching. Uh, versus when we talk about you know thermite and habana um his you know 45 damage 850 fire rate like ak12 go burr you can't really beat that so i think that's my like what if i were to say like what i have the most clutches on or or uh 4ks um it's definitely ace um but i i do want to mention like the uh legion as a defender uh because his um well two people have his gun the t8 uh, t5 but his um, ability to to you know easily get um, intel on the enemy and use that to make like quick split second decisions, also the just unmatched fire power of his gun is um, the reason I like him. Cool. Um, I think we lost Capral, but uh, oh. that's, that'll be all right. We'll it's move probably over to because Biddy. he was in a ranked match. <laughs> Oh geez, yeah. Uh, people are yeah. people laggy. are queuing here in the interview. People are in the queue <laughs> yeah. right now. <laughs> That's what kind of interview this is. Um, but uh, let's go over to Biddy. How about you, Biddy? Um, I really like to play Jackal on attack. 
I think he brings a lot to the table with his utility, making it easy to clear roamers and then get your team to like a plantable position. And I mean, he has a really good gun with the C70. Does a lot of damage to high fire. Nice. So far, all different, I think, by my count. Um, last but not least, Luko. Um, for attack, probably Ash, just because Ash, R4C, uh, gun, shoot. And um, on defense, uh, I think the mo the person I played the most was probably Jaeger uh, or maybe Vigil. Uh, again, gun. But, yeah. Nice. And, uh, all right, a final question. This is going just back to your captain tags. How did you get the role of captain? Do you enjoy being captain? Um, how'd that happen? Uh, this all originated back to when my, my dad originally brought me, told me about HSEL in general, the high school esports league. And I was majorly uh, interested in it. And I wanted to be a team captain. I wanted to be able to work at a team. I was really into it. So I went on the uh, recruiting recruiting uh, channel. And luckily, Rafino picked me up. He's like, hey, we need an extra player. You want to join? I'm like, yeah, 100%. So I was a little nervous. As soon as I joined the team, their Discord, their call, met everyone. They immediately point, appointed me as team captain <laughs> purely because my rank was higher than yours. <laughs> higher than theirs. Yeah. That's basically what they said. And I was super hyped. I'm like, okay, I don't need to fight over anyone. I, it's just it's there. So yeah. since then, I've just been working to do whatever I can to help uh, keep you know, keep the uh, title as team team captain. I've also been there for IGM. Not IGM. Well, yeah, and game, IGL. Uh, coach, all of that. Just kind of try to keep that there. Do my best do what I can uh, as, as far as our teams come so far looking to go further. Um, I love playing team captain role, loads of fun and I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to keeping it. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, obviously whatever you're doing is working since uh, the tech stallions took home the dub for uh, the HSEL. Consecutive open season champs. That's right. That's right. You heard it here first from the boys. <laughs> From uh, from tags himself as the captain. Well, congratulations again to uh, to these to uh, this team, Tech Stallions, and winning the uh, summer challenge for the HSEL Esports uh, for R six. Just an incredible job. Before we sign off for tonight, is there any shout outs you guys want to give out to anyone? Uh, we can just go around the room again. How about you, tags? Shout outs. Any thanks to your teammates or whoever? Be a definite shout out to our subs. Everyone that is current. Couldn't be here today, sadly, but they were always here in the tournament. They were always here when we needed them. Super Fireball, uh, Capro, who sadly had to log off early, and Noxu, who also couldn't make it. Nice. How Along about you, Blue Flame? Team, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Blue Flame? Um, I don't know. Tags basically said everything that I was going to say. I guess shout out to Noah for the big brain plays, I guess. Big brain plays. All right. <laughs> Love it. Good uh, good transition over to Nova. Who would you like to shout out? Um, definitely uh, Jay for just dominating the way he does. Um, super for, for, you know, not being the best player out there, but definitely the guy with the most positive attitude and always there when, like, needed. Um, and obviously Blue for, you know, just the overwhelming frag. Um, so, uh, yeah. And also, uh, Not also over Jay. can't forget, can't forget Biddy for almost um, losing us a, another league. Um, you know, can't forget <laughs> yeah, of course, Biddy. Speaking of Biddy, okay, first that is not <laughs> my fault. Was not my fault. <laughs> just like, I just want to shout out everyone for making the team like a really good community, so we can all play together and win games. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Last but not least, Luco. Who would you like to shout out? Uh, definitely tags because he's pretty much set everything up. And uh, well, Nova stole what I was gonna say about Biddy, but I mean, uh, Biddy for throwing. That was not my fault. <laughs> Are we sure about that though? Yeah, I'm sure about it. Well, I guess it wasn't, but I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't. Wait, never mind. Forget <laughs> it, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's there. It worked. Um, and uh, I, I'm actually going to give a shout out to Rafino. I, I, I love, yep. you know, each of you yeah. were talking about Rafino being able to recruit you guys. He's done such an awesome job as GM for the Anadel Aviators and just recruiting in general. He's at the live events, you know, that we're going to always, you know, doing the setup, tear down, teaching, casting, all that he does. So huge shout out. Shout out to uh, Rafino for never answering oh, yeah. my messages. Yeah, yeah. Rafina's with the amount of the amount of uh, extracurricular stuff Rafino does, he's probably got a waterfall of Discord messages. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But um, but yeah, any final words before we sign off? Uh, I mean, I guess that was. I remember what I was gonna say about Biddy. I was gonna say it wasn't your fault, but it wasn't not your fault. Fair. It so, wasn't your fault. I mean... I'd also like to point point. out, we'll be here. We'll be back here again next HSCL season. We do plan. We do intend to win again, so we will be back for this. Absolutely, yeah. Can't wait for that next uh, HSEL uh, season. But also, the uh, Tech Amateur League season five is coming up uh, October first. So uh, everyone who's watching this, I want you to go check out the Tech Stallions in the HSEL next season, Uh, and and also come back. I believe it's October first for season five of the amateur league. But uh, if that's it, then uh, hopefully uh, we're going to get some of these guys socials on the YouTube. So go uh, check out if they have any streams, go check out their streams, go check out their Twitter, follow them, give them some love. And uh, thank you everyone. Appreciate you making out to this interview and we will see you guys in season five. Take care. Tech. Yeah.